Kido and crime, Kido and crime. We uncover the crime on Kido and crime. Kido and crime, Kido and crime. Now is the time for Kido and crime. Hey everyone, Tracy here from Keto and Crime. Thank you so much to every single one of my patrons and channel members. You make this possible. And uh, you're one of the reasons I do this. And I thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if I haven't said it before, thank you. I'll sing it. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there with me and letting me geek out, not making fun of me like a lot of other people do because I like weird stuff about crime and dark history. Re, re. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Hey, everyone. Keto and Crime here. Uh, just a really quick update on some developments in the Quentin Simon case. As you know, we've been following this. Uh, basically, the, uh, the child that uh, disappeared from the home of his grandparents uh, where he was living with his mom, his siblings, and uh, his mom's boyfriend, as well as his mom, of course. Um, as we know, eventually uh, it did come out that Lilani is the number one, the mom, Lilani, is the number one suspect in, suspect in his disappearance. And um, the grandmother released uh, some Facebook posts, which if you want to see all that information, I've got other videos about this case right up there, uh, saying that um, she believes her daughter had something to do with it and his body is in a landfill. And they, so far... Chatham County, Georgia Sheriff's Department, as well as the FBI have been, and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, have been combing landfills trying to find his body. No arrests have been made. Uh, we do know that um, Lilani Simon's boyfriend has fled to Atlanta, so I'm sure they have split up. Again, all that information is right up here. Uh, her, her mother ha has deleted... Uh, all social media. I believe Alani has deleted all social media as well. And uh, they're just hunkered down writing it out. The only one still doing live casts and live streams is the babysitter, though she has calmed down on that. But I don't really want to talk about developing developments in the case itself. We do know that both mom, grandma, as well as the grandparents of the other children, their father, the parents of their fathers were in court uh, mid-October and that those children have been removed from the custody of the grandmother and Lilani. But what I want to talk about now is many reports and many sightings, many, many shenanigans help going on outside Lilani Simon's parents' house. Uh, what you is um, protesters that have been standing out in front of the Simon residence for days, weeks even, and have caused quite a disturbance in the neighborhood. Many of them have been arrested, among them a couple of YouTubers that were at the protests, live streaming the protests, and some of them did turn quasi-violent. I'm not talking about, you know, the kind of violence where back in summer of 2020 where they said it was mostly peaceful with burning buildings behind them. I'm talking about these were quasi violent. There were some altercations and it seems that a few YouTubers were filming it and live streaming it to their channel. People, this is why we can't have nice things. This is why true crimers like myself and like others that try to remain ethical and we don't try to break stories because we're not journalists. We try to bring you the facts as we know them, keep you rudimentarily updated and do deep dives on past cases, which is what I do primarily. Uh, this is why we can't have nice things. This, there has been a whole lot of, s true crime has been under a microscope for the last few weeks because of some instances with Bailey Sarian, who I love, and I think she was wrongly accused of some of the stuff she was accused of. Uh, we've been, and now with stuff like this, these, these Johnny and Jane come lately's that have jumped into the true crime genre doing this kind of crap. That's giving us a bad name. Do you want true crime banned on YouTube? I don't. 
because I love doing it. I love talking about these cases. So, and, and delving into the psyche and what makes humans tick. This is why we can't have nice things. Because there are idiots like this that do this idiotic stuff. They, they're stupid people that play stupid games and win the rest of a stupid prices. Do not go out and stand in front of a private residence. I don't care if you're on a city street. There's no need to be standing out there with signs. The police will arrest Lalani when they have enough evidence to convict Lalani. If they rush into an arrest and she gets a good lawyer, she's going to walk. Do you want that to happen? No. You actually want justice for Quentin? Then give the police time to do their investigation so there's enough evidence to convict to charge and then hopefully convict his murder. So be patient. There's no need for this stuff. If anything, you slow down the process because now these sheriff's deputies, instead of having to look for Quentin, are out there dealing with your stupid butt. Don't do it. There's no need to do it. Protests serve a purpose to a point. But in this case, they serve no point but to make you look like an idiot the genre of true crime look like an idiot and bring unnecessary stress to the family, this family that's going through some stuff as well as the other people in their neighborhood. Stop it. I'm not going to even mention the YouTubers' names because I don't want to send any traffic to their channel. Up yours. You deserve no traffic. And you're going to get people, you're going to get the genre banned or, you know, delisted or something like that because you want to get out there and do stupid stuff to for the sole purpose of making money live streams are big money i i could be making you know quadruple the amount of money i'm making on youtube which isn't very much let me tell you i make about three four hundred dollars a month doing this i and that's mostly because of the kindness of my patrons and my channel members but i that's the reason I don't live stream, because I don't ever want the temptation of doing something like this. I, I am going to try to do some live streaming later on, but when I live stream, it's about past cases. You will never see me out in front of somebody's house holding up signs protesting. The police will arrest the perpetrator when they have enough evidence to arrest the perpetrator. This serves no purpose whatsoever. So... With that being said, don't do this. I will keep you uh, abreast of all the all the developments in the Quentin Simon case. I'm not going to talk about it every single day. I've always said that if you, and that's the reason I kind of got away from the Daybell case a little bit. I do keep you updated, and I did a lot of stuff with the Daybell case. It did build my channel, and, but I, I tried to do things like the book reviews and other things just because I'm not milking the case. There are people that get a hold of one case and they just milk it, milk it, milk it. Repeat what's already been said. And then I don't get that. That's not journalism. That is just exploiting victims and the families of the perpetrators and everybody else involved for monetary gain. I, th there's no place for it. Report the facts and move on. And so that's what I, I, I try to do with many of these cases. If there's breaking news, I will bring it to you. But for the most part, I'm going to just deliver the facts, even if it means I don't upload a lot of videos on it. So with that being said, I'm going to get back to work. I've got a great video coming for you, an interview with a uh, what I consider an A-list uh, Hollywood actress. I'm very excited. And uh, then I will be back to my normal true crime schedule next week, which is going to be one shorter video. At the beginning of each week and then a long long form video an hour or more at the end of the week that's going to be the new schedule i'm going to go back to my deep dives of cases because i think that's where i shine and i i've heard enough feedback from all of you guys and gals that that's that's what you prefer so i'm going to go back to that i'm going to be doing two videos a week moving forward and with that being said i will see you very very soon and until next time Keto and cry. Out.